My name's Squatter Coffee, and uh, we're at my place here at Beulah. 50 years ago, I came into Beulah from, from Birchip. My motto is I live to give and I care to share. Every day I can do it. I live the dream. I, I wouldn't know anybody's going better than me. I own this, I don't owe a dollar. I'm broke, but I'm a millionaire for friends. Wouldn't be too many going as good as I'm going. Anybody that's going bad or hurting or a few days here, blow your ties up. That's, it. that's what I'm about. There is something really deeply healing about horses there and is. the relationship. Yep. In the bush and the quiet, you know. We light that fire up and I don't drink, but a few do and they get a bit, a bit reckless. The truth gets stretched around a bit, but geez, they remember they're naughty, you know. If you don't have a good time, you're in trouble. You're not going to have a good time too many other places. What role do horses play in your life? Yeah, a major part. I've had a few oh, setbacks or knockbacks, marriage breakup, a heart attack. And geez, if you didn't have horses, I don't know what people do with don't have a horse or even a dog. What do people do? You know, if you're travelling rough, you don't have to even ride a horse. Go and get him, take him, give him a pick on the lawn. You feel better around a horse. You're a bit of a legend around the Mallee squatter. You even have your own grain silo mural. So how did that come about? Well, the girls from the tourism ring up and they booked a horse ride for two ladies and a teenage girl. And we were riding along and, and she said, uh, how'd you feel about being painted on the silo? I said, well, you better have a meeting about that. I don't want to be up there and annoying people. Uh, it'll be there for a while. How does it feel to be immortalised on a silo? Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's all right. It's just nice that kids that come here and they want to go and have a look at it. You've hung up your hard hat. You've yep. uh, got your Akubra firmly <laughs> planted on your head. How many tonnes of grain do you think you've handled over 50 years? Oh, no, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't physically work it out. Like, you know, one day the three silos bogged down at Rainbow and I shoveled the three of them and unbogged them. It's, it's probably 15 tonne of grain that day shoveled. Yeah, a lot of shoveling. Trillions of tonnes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> a, <lot. laughs> a dollar a tonne would be all right. <laughs> Where do you from here? You've retired. Are you going to uh, invest in some more equine friends? Or? Yeah, I've got a couple more horses we've got to look at and bring in. And you know, this kid's gone from me to racing stables and up on the stations. This young bloke from Matoa came here last week. Never been on a horse. He started at Brunette Downs in the Northern Territory. And they assigned him his horse. He sent me a photo. Yeah, he's riding all right. I like. Kids that have got a bit of a problem. There's a lot of kids wound out this attention deficit and that, and I'm good with those kids. Send them home tired from doing something they like. The mums get a week of a good normal kid. And then buggers are kids that have been in a bit of strife and that. Once they go home and they sit at the table and nobody else can ride a horse, geez, their tyres are pumped up. It's good to to give a kid just to see their face when they're going around that yard and they're cantering along, that's a payment. There's something about the magic of the Mallee, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. What is it? I reckon it's just the people. Just the people. Plus the climate, best climate in Australia. I reckon this is the pick of it. Takes a bit of beating here. It's a pretty special place, Beulah.